Blossom. Proud candidate in the first election for mayor of Shopville. As an apple, I understand the need for wholesome core values. Cut! Do we really need a flag in every shot? Of course we do! This is an election campaign video. Let's finish this later. Susie invited us to the park. We don't have time for the park. Hey, you guys ready for the park? Sure am. No, no, no. Apple doesn't have time for the park. We have a very busy campaign schedule today. Come on, Apple. You don't really need to do any campaigning. Yeah, your toad's gonna win. Besides, is anyone else even like running for mayor? Come on, dummy me, quit doing that. Oh no, somebody help! Thanks, Kooky, you're amazing. So, uh, you want me to put this anywhere? <laughs> nah, nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else. So, Apple, have you picked out your theme song yet? My theme song? Everybody needs a theme song if they want to make a great entrance. Oh, um, gee, we should totally head over to the music store and create something cool for Apple. Fine, I'll add it to the schedule. Wait, we need to upload Apple's campaign profile pic first. Hashtag Apple Blossom, hashtag Bear, hashtag Bear Blossom, hashtag Shopville Selfies, hashtag Shopkin Selfies, hashtag Smallmart Selfies, hashtag Miss Sleepy Lips, Miss Shopville 2016, hashtag It's Hashtag Shopkin You done? No, I just stopped because you were staring at me. Hashtag Interrupted, hashtag Back to Hashtagging, hashtag Hashtag. Maybe I don't even need a theme song for my campaign. Oh, come on, Apple. We just need to create something really awesome. See? Like that. Ladies and gentlemen, she's the shopkin who's been around the world. She has looks around her opponents. She's been campaigning up and down. The streets of Shopville spinning for your support. Please give a warm welcome to the future mayor of Shopville, Miss Yolanda. Look how many flags she has. She's got my vote. I told you about the flags. It's the campaign event you've all been waiting for. Great Shopville today, live from the Toy Store. Featuring your two favorite candidates, Apple Blossom and Yolanda Yo-Yo. Remember, if you get nervous, just smile. Being a leader is 90% confidence and 25% skill. I'm not confident in that math. That's the spirit. Now let's see that smile. I feel more nervous just looking at you. Okay, Yolanda just rolled in. Try to act natural. Hi, I'm Blossom Apple. I, I mean, hey, Apple Blossom. It is such a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, uh, you too, Yolanda. Hey, can we talk for a moment? Sure. If I told you a secret, would you tell anyone? No. I would never share it with anyone. Okay, I'm like super nervous about the debate today. I'm super nervous too. Don't worry, the debate will be all in good fun. I think we're on. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you so much. You are our hero. Okay, Shopkins. Without further ado, let's give our candidates a chance to tell us why we should vote for them to become the first mayor of Shopville. Uh, hello, I'm Apple Blossom. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Am I hurting you? <laughs> Just kidding. Apple, tell us why we should vote for you. Well, I consider my 
myself to be an upstanding citizen of Shopville. I promise to lead with honesty and integrity. Yolanda, why should we take yes for the yo-yo come election day? Well, I really understand the value of sharing with your fellow Shopkins, unlike Apple Blossom. That's right, Apple refuses to share her toys. When I asked her if I could play with her remote-controlled speedboat, this is what she said to me. No, I would never share it with anyone. Gulls, but I don't even own a toy speedboat. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Let's thank our two candidates for coming. I can't believe she would make that up about me. Don't worry about it. We know that's not the type of Shopkin you are. Who's that? So, Fortune Stella, will I win the election or do I need to be even sneakier? Ask again later. Will you even answer my question later? Ask again later. Uh, who cares? I'm gonna win, and when I'm mayor, I'm gonna pass this bill requiring everybody to dress and act just like me. I don't care what you are, a shoe, lipstick, an apple. I'm gonna turn everybody in Shopville into yo-yos. <laughs> Ask again later. Did you hear that? I don't want to be a yo-yo. I get motion sickness. We need to get that bill as evidence so nobody votes for Yolanda. <laughs> Wasn't my only copy. Better luck next time. <laughs> and then Yolanda said she'll turn us all into yo yo's. Oh no! We need to stop her. Hey, maybe it won't be so bad. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> It won't be so bad. It'll be horrible! Uh, Apple, I think you should come outside. That's it! This needs to stop now! Follow me! My, oh my! Fixing your opponent's billboards. Such an honorable act. Every candidate has the right to an honest and fair campaign. So, uh... Did you want me to put these somewhere? Yolanda, uh, what do you want? You're not playing fair. I challenge you to a shop quiz right here, right now. You're on. Shopkins of Shopville. It looks like we have a shop quiz on our hands. You know the stakes, one incorrect answer, and you're out of here. Let's get to it, Apple. What year was the small month built? 2013. Correct. Yolanda, who designed the Toasty Pop inspired fashion line? Shady Diva. Correct. Apple, who came second last year's shopping cart rally? Cheeky Chocolate. Correct. Yolanda, what is in aisle 25 of the small mall? Ask again later. Ask again later. I mean, do. Trick question there is no aisle 25. Apple Blossom wins. <laughs> Okay, Shopkins, you know your candidates. Now, it's time for all of you to cast your vote for the first mayor of Shopville. Oh, yeah, this is like super suspenseful. Shopkins of Shopville, the moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. Drum roll, please. And the first mayor of Shopville is. It's a tie between Apple Blossom, Yolanda Yo-Yo, and Cookie Cookie. So what do we do now? In the event of a tie, candidates have the option to pass their votes to another candidate. I hereby pass my votes to Apple Blossom. Apple Blossom is the winner! I'm so sorry you didn't win, Kooky. You're such an upstanding candidate, Kooky. I mean, what you did for Apple. Huh? What do you mean? Kooky went around and painted over all those awful billboards for you. Kooky, you did that for me? Wait! This entire campaign, Yolanda and I have been too busy thinking about ourselves while Kooky has been helping everyone out. She deserves to be mayor. I hereby pass my votes to Kooky! 
Well, you heard her, shop cans. The first ever meal of shop fail is Cookie Cookie! No, no! I should win! <laughs> oh, there's no need to cry, Yolanda. I just feel so terrible. The only reason I was going to make everybody dress like me is so I didn't feel so self-conscious about myself. Every Shopkin is different, but that's what makes us so special. I guess you're right. So, Mayor Cookie, what is your first order of business? The expansion of Shopville. Congratulations again, Cookie. I can't wait to see the new places in Shopville. Perhaps you could build another clothing store? What are you going to build here, Cookie? Well, we need something to spice this area up. Maybe some sort of club. Check you later. of the decorations for the opening ceremony and you are not helping. Relax, I'm just practicing my winning face. Your winning face? Yeah, you know, when everything is in slow-mo and you barrel through the finish line and you're all like... <laughs> like this! <laughs> Can you stop doing that? You want to be a winner, you need to visualize winning. And as team captain for the Small Mart, I want all of you to do the same. Now, drink this. Oh, what on earth is that? It's a cheeky charge-up made from milk, spinach, kale, and the tears of all my competitors that I've beaten over the years. You collect tears? That's, like, kind of weird. <laughs> Welcome to the first official Shopville Games. We have shoplets competing from all across Shopville, including the Toy Store, Sports Store, Music Store, Tech Town, Fashion Boutique, and the Small Mart. Please stand for the Shopkins National Anthem, sung by our very special guest, Miss Cupcake Queen. <clears throat> Shopkins, Shopkins, da 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 da. No, Shopkins! Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. I have chills. Mainly because it's slightly cold today, but also because of that performance. Which leads us to our first official event. Yolanda Yo-Yo diving first for Team Toy Store. What an incredible display of shop lattices. A disappointing dive from Max Saxophone. And saves it by finding the key the judge lost in the water fountain three months ago. Now, for Team Small Mark. Do us proud, Lippy. Hold on. I'm going to get wet if I jump in there. No, thank you. Too cold. Lippy Lips fails to jump. Now, for Team Sport. simultaneously taking out the gold medal in both the water fan and diving and ice skating event. What a win! I can't believe you did that to the team, Lippy. You're benched! <gasps> so what does that mean exactly? Is there an actual bench that I have to sit on? Oh, yeah, it's just that one over there. You know, it's actually quite comfortable. But I'm still not happy about this! 99, 100. Great warm-up set, everybody. Only a thousand more to go. Ugh. Hey, Lippy. I'm really sorry about benching you yesterday. No hard feelings? Of course. You had to do what you had to do. It's all water under the bridge. All right, Shopkins. Time for day two of the Shopville Games, hosted by the Fashion Boutique. Are you serious, Lippy? You're switching teams? Hey, you benched me. Why would Shady even pick you? I thought she'd ask Toasty. I'll have you know that she picked me straight away. Oh, please, Miss Diva, I need to find a new team. Pick me, pick me! Uh, what about you over there, the tall one? That's a tree! Ugh, fine. Come, quickly. Yes! There may have 
have been some minor convincing required. Fine, go! We don't need you anyway. Calling all shop leads competing in today's event, the 100-meter catwalk. Uh -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a model, Cheeky. I don't know what I'm doing. Just copy whatever Lippy does. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good luck. You're going to need it. Don't copy everything she does. On your marks, get set. And they're off, Lynn Spring with an early lead as they approach the first fashion interval. Oh no, an early upset as Lynn falls out of the race. Our remaining shop leads fast approaching their next interval. Sadie and Connie in a tangle. It's down to Lippy and Toasty as we approach the final leg. <laughs> Lippy takes home the goal! <laughs> Sorry, Cheeky, I tried my hardest. Oh, I can't wait to take these off. That's okay, Toasty. Why don't you take a seat over here? Thanks, Cheeky. Hey, you benched me. It's for the good of the team, Toasty. It's really starting to heat up here at the games, folks. The sports store leads the pack, followed by the fashion boutique, tech store, music store, and the small mark currently in last place. Wow, I would not like to be their team captain right now. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> what are you doing, Cheeky? Oh, hey, Apple. I'm practicing my betrayal face for when I run into Lippy. You know she's right over there. Hey, Lippy! Hey, no fraternizing with the competition. Come on, Cheeky. All this competitive talk is driving us apart. We're not even performing well because we're not working as a team. You're right. We've been losing because I've been too focused on you guys performing well rather than my own performance. Pretty sure that's not what I meant. If this team really wants a fighting chance at winning, then I have to step up and compete in all of the events by myself. That's the exact opposite of what I meant. Pull! Cheeky Chocolate takes home the gold for Team Small Mark. <sighs> oh. Max Saxophone wins! Hey, guys. What's the next event? Soccer. <laughs> Soccer? This is too easy. I'm totally going to beat you. Honey Console wins with a devastating 100 to nil victory in the soccer video game category. Now, for the long events. First off, the long jump. Long distance running. And finally, the long distance phone call. Oh, hey, Cheeky. I'm actually right here. Ugh. Mushy, mushy. Lippy Lips wins for Team Fashion Boutique. The third day of the Shopville Games has come to a close. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. It's a dead heat between the small mart, sports store, and fashion boutique. This is tense, folks. It all comes down to the last event of the games, the Shop Bill Relay. Who will win? No, honestly, that's not a rhetorical question. I literally have no idea. Who do you think's gonna win? Anybody? Hello? Shopkins, it's time for the Shopville Relay! I can't believe I have to watch the relay from the stands! The following stores have chosen to combine their members. The Toy and Sports Store, the Fashion Boutique, Music Store, and Tech Tower. And competing for Team Small Mart is... It's just Cheeky Chocolate. 
Okay, then. Let's get this relay underway! On your marks. Get set. Wait! Guys, I'm so sorry. Nothing is more important than doing this relay together. That means the whole team. What a shake-up, folks. Apple, Toasty, and Lippy join Cheeky to form Team Small Mart, which leaves our other team one runner short. Microphone steps in to compete. Our shop leads try to focus on the race ahead. It's... On your marks. Get set. And we're off! Lynn with an early lead, followed by Apple. Mike, with Bone, slipping to last place with a very poor start. Mike happily hands over the baton to Connie. Connie makes a move, closing in on Lola and Lippy. Sadie takes the lead as we approach the final baton exchange. It's neck and neck as Yolanda, Cheeky, and Max Sacks approach the final stretch. It's a tie between all three teams! <gasps> what an amazing end to the games! Check you later!